you're watching TVC News. Now, it is no longer news that Nigeria has joined the League of Other Countries uh, to sign the Africa Free Trade Agreement. And uh, across the state, across the country, there has been stakeholders talking about what it stands and how Africa stands to benefit from this. Having join me, joining me now on TVC News uh, earlier we, is to discuss this is uh, Dimola Oshudi, who has uh, been following up on this uh, development. Dimola, it's good to have you join me right now. Good afternoon. Now, the, the Nigeria has joined the League of Other Countries to sign the free trade agreement. Uh, how much of a game changer is this? Good afternoon. It's, um, it's work in progress. Um, Nigeria has been very reluctant to sign up to it. Um, we just, uh, the president signing up to it around 10.30 a.m. this morning. Um, it's... It potentially will be a game changer if Nigeria and African countries uh, can really build strong institutions to monitor and abide by the, the rules of the, uh, of the trade agreement. Um, we've seen ECOWAS and uh, how ECOWAS is still, you know, work in progress. Um, free trade, uh, free movement of people, um, taxes and uh, uh, delays and harassment at borders and it's not what it's supposed to be with ECOWAS. Now, this is a bigger picture. This deals with Africa. How is African countries going to deal with this larger trade issue? Um, Nigeria has been very reluctant to, to sign up to it, and finally they've, they've done it. I want to believe the Nigerian the presidential committee that looked into it um, has a good report that shows Nigeria's interest uh, will be protected and manufacturers will be pleasantly happy. All right, this, this agreement was conceived more than a decade ago. What were some of the holdbacks from it kicking off all the while? Again, it comes down to um, a lot of it is just the African institutions. Um, a lot of the very, very, very few African countries that have a strong manufacturing base or a strong export base. Um, all our exports in Africa usually go to um, developing world. They go to Europe, they go to America, whether it's commodities and coffee or tea or petroleum, crude oil, or, um, you know, uh, things in that nature. We rarely trade within ourselves, within Africa. So this is just to promote that. So they, they, they want to make sure that even the African economy, each African country is still going through a growing phase, still going through an infantile um, economy that itself is too dependent on on commodities um they're switching this from manufacturing to a more you know inclusive african um economic spread is uh, is the right thing to do um you don't want a country like maybe Benin republic that's struggling to build its own manufacturing base struggling with the cheap chinese imports to have to worry about additional imports uh for coming from nigeria or from ghana or from south africa uh, what would happen to their own local economy? These are the concerns that have been raised, and uh, this is probably why the delay has been so. Now, there are great prospects for the African Free Trade Agreement uh, when it comes to the, the, the benefits Africans stand to gain from this. But what do you see as some of the challenges that uh, this agreement might face when it comes to the issue of uh, some of African countries still having affiliations to their colonial masters and, and, and different things uh, when it comes to the, their currencies, inflation rates, all of these disparities? It's going to be a challenge. Um, the average African country is still, you know, tied by, you know, umbilical cord to their colonial masters, whether it's England or France or uh, uh, Spain, whatsoever. That's their primary trading partner. Uh, China has obviously taken mid big inroads, and so has the, the United States. But most African trade, as I said, is outside Africa, um, and Nigeria itself is also part of that. So um, this is a, will go a long way to enhance the trade within the continent and within the sub sub region of even west africa what ECOWAS limitation ECOWAS had the african union hopefully to iron things out for them but uh the issue has been dumping you know dumping you know cheap goods from african country fake goods um you know again the institutions are not being strong enough to really curb the you know importation of fake products or um, you know coming in from different parts of the country and but most importantly, building that manufacturing base. You, you don't want to be fighting or trying to manage the influx of the Chinese um, manufacturing, I mean, cheap products coming from China or Taiwan or wherever. 
and then you now have to deal with uh, cheap products coming from Kenya. You know, your coffee industry may be decimated if China, if Kenya sends its own coffee to uh, to Nigeria, you know, free of charge without any tariffs or tea, etc. So these are the concerns that are there, and, and the African Union, especially with the action plan uh, on the boosting African trade, there are seven points they raised, and uh, they looked into this in 2017 and came out with this you know, enhanced plan. I like I like to say also add that this uh, trade agreement also comes with a lot of amendments. There's provision for annexes and amendments that could also make changes down the road. But um, you know, it's, it, everybody's pretty pleased that the Nigerian government is on board. The labor union has its concerns. The uh, um, I've, in some say it's even the manufacturers do have their concern. But I want to believe everybody has been you know found some way to be happy and joyous about it and their interests protected. All right. From this standpoint where Nigeria is right now, what must the country do fast to be able to reap the whole benefit of this agreement for Nigeria and Nigerians? Well, we need to um, look beyond our comfort zone. We need to look beyond uh, what is available right now. ECOWAS is probably our primary export region in Nigeria. You know, I was, I was in Ghana uh, a while back and I saw Indomie. Um, manufactured in Nigeria, you know, being sold in Ghana, and I was like, well, rather pleased. Um, so trade in West Africa is already there. We need to look into trade into East Africa, bigger trade in West Africa, I mean, sorry, East Africa, Central Africa, um, selling oil, um, and of course, um, transportation. Um, it's very difficult to fly to many African countries. You have to go through, you know, a, a different time zones to go to somewhere so close to you. A few years ago, traveling to um, Guinea, uh, Guinea Conakry, Conakry uh, was very difficult. Sometimes you had to go fly to Paris to, from like, from Lagos to Paris, down to Conakry, just to get access to that country. Now traveling is easier now, but this will make things enhance trade, if easy movements of people by air and uh, by trade. Trade first, and then uh, the tra transportation sector will hopefully be provided. There will be okay. a need, a viable alternative to, uh, to, to normal, normal routes we take every day. All right. We look forward to greater days ahead for the continent. Demolai, uh, Ademolai Oshudi, thank you so much for talking to us on TBC News. Thank you.